Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to get your custom control settings saved where they will sa stay saved for the PC version of Resident Evil Zero. Okay, assuming you have got the game installed, uh, we'll go ahead and start up the game. And then click on Start Game in the menu. Click OK to quickly get out of that part. And then uh, at this menu, go ahead and go into Options. Go into Controls. And then you want to switch to Custom. And go ahead and make any changes you want. And in my case, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, all this is not the default section here. I just simply changed one of my custom controls to something else. Uh, so what you'll get is a little bit different from what you've seen here on the video. But uh, go ahead and make any custom changes you want. Then do not click OK. What you want to do is you want to click Alternate. And it will pop up this menu and use controls, uh, custom control settings. Click Yes. And then go ahead and click OK after that. Then click back, back again. And I have the use key, the action key set to E. So I should be able to access the door with Rebecca Chambers. And it'll give me the message. OK, we'll go ahead and click through all that and get into the game. And here we go. And now I'm going to hit the E key. And there we go. My custom settings have been saved. And yours will too if you follow this video. All right. Uh, that is pretty much it there. So I hope this video helps you with that little snafu. Uh, not all uh, ports are created equal, but at least there's an easy fix for this one to where you can use custom controls instead of the uh, crappy default controls for Resident Evil Zero. All right. Take care one and all and God bless you.